President Moon will visit New York for the UN General Assembly next week. He plans to highlight global solidarity for an inclusive recovery. There's also a series of bilateral talks with various leaders scheduled. Kim Dami provides a glimpse of what to expect. At the UN General Assembly in New York next week, South Korean President Moon Jae-in will underscore the international community's solidarity for an inclusive recovery. A Chongade official said on Wednesday that Moon will deliver a keynote speech at the 76th session of the annual event, as well as the opening speech of the second Sustainable Development Goals Moment. He will also be joined by South Korean K-pop band BTS. Moon will be the only leader representing the heads of all UN member states at the SDG. There, he is expected to address Har's efforts to improve inter-Korean ties in commemoration of the two Koreas' 30th anniversary of the UN membership, as well as a call for international support. His five-day U.S. visit will also include an interview with ABC on communicating with future generations, climate change and overcoming the pandemic. A series of bilateral talks will also take place with Slovenian President Baru Pahor on Monday, UN General Secretary Antonio Guterres, and Vietnamese President Nguyen Suan Phuc on Tuesday. Moon has no plan to meet with U.S. President Joe Biden, but he will sit down with Pfizer CEO Albert Borla and give thanks for the drug makers' vaccine supply and to ask for greater cooperation. After wrapping up his New York visit on Tuesday, Moon will head to Honolulu, Hawaii to attend a ceremony for the transfer of the remains of South Korean and American troops who sacrificed their lives during the Korean War. Noting that this will be the first time a South Korean president has attended a ceremony of this kind, the Tongade official said it will serve as an opportunity to reaffirm the strong Tar Washington alliance and the will of the country to take responsibility for those who sacrificed. Kim Dabi, Arirang News.